your depth of knowledge on why Bitcoin is the money, is the future of money. We're talking about Bitcoin today. So I got into Bitcoin when it, it dropped, went from 20, and then I'm gonna basically watch a trading form. I'm gonna drop down to, I think, seven. And I watch, and it moved back up. I said, okay, I'm back in. So I was back in at nine. So when somebody says, what do you think about Bitcoin? I said, I'm very happy. And they said, what if it comes back down? I said, then I'll buy more. You know, but I don't really know much about it. So when I was listening to you speak I forgot, on whose program it was, your depth of knowledge on why Bitcoin is the money, is the future of money. Would you mind going into that? Because I'm just a guy who likes to make money. But I don't understand <laughs> Bitcoin. The most exciting thing about making money with cryptocurrencies is how the blockchain is decentralizing and democratizing finance. People are investing in cryptocurrency because of their easy trade to digital assets. These days, anyone with access to the internet can borrow, trade, and spend money worldwide, and no one can stop them. However, cryptocurrency is revolutionizing banking and finance worldwide, and experts are unsure what will happen in the future. Still, many of those that have limited access to banking will have more opportunities with the future of cryptocurrency. We can say that cryptocurrency can be the biggest opportunity of your life. You can compare it to the early stages of the gold rush. Only it's digital and it's now. All you need to do is find a strategy, apply it, and you can make money with it. Some limitations exist with cryptocurrencies, as someone's digital fortune can be deleted by a crash or if a hacker ransacks a virtual vault. However, these issues should be overcome in the future with technical advancements. There are some paradoxes with cryptocurrencies. The more popular they are, the higher regulations and government scrutiny they will attract, eroding the fundamental premise of their existence. Surprisingly, the number of people accepting cryptocurrencies has increased, but they are still in the minority. To make it widely used worldwide, they need to attain widespread acceptance, and it aspires to become part of the primary financial system to satisfy the divergent criteria. What are your views over the future of cryptocurrencies? Do you agree cryptocurrency is the future of the world? Let us know your views in the comments below. Stay tuned and subscribe for more to avoid missing out on more uploads. You know, Bitcoin is important. It's going to crash. I think if it goes to 27,000 a coin, I'm going to back up the truck. I'm going to buy more because you know, I'm very optimistic about Bitcoin. And let me explain why, but also why the risk is here. This is macro financial education. Between 1960 and 1980, my generation, the boomers, didn't like stocks because everybody at my time of when I was a kid, everybody said anybody invests in the stock market is a gambler. Now everybody's in the stock market. So how did that happen? Well, in 1974, they brought this thing called a 401k out. I won't touch that thing. I would not touch a 401k or an IRA. Why? Because I don't have to. You know, they tell you exactly to tell you when to wear the mask and when to get a vaccine. They tell you what you can invest in, in a 401k and an IRA. I refuse to do that. I refuse to do that, but I don't have to do that because as an entrepreneur, I create my own assets. I don't need the stock market. You do. I'm not saying don't invest in it. I'm not saying don't have a 401k, don't have an IRA. Just screw you. I'm not going to be told what to do. That's why I'm an entrepreneur. You like being told what to do? Go to school, get a job, save money, pay your taxes, get out of debt and invest in the stock market. I don't want to do that. I bought Bitcoin at 9,000 and I thought I was being fleeced. But the reason I bought it at nine was because COVID shut down the world economy. So I thought it was pretty, when they started printing, so I bought Bitcoin at nine. I wish I'd bought it at 10 cents, like a lot of people did. But now I look like a genius because today it's around 55,000. This is uh, what, April, 2021. And I think it's gonna go to 1.2 million in five more years. And I hang out with young guys and I ask them questions about Bitcoin and Ethereum. And there's so many, there's so many different crypto. The reason I say Bitcoin is untested, because it is untested. It's only been around since about 2009 or something. So that's why I'm very cautious with it. The same as all the other altcoins. And I think altcoins are here to stay, but I don't know which one will survive. Remember, I don't know if you're too young, when Amazon came out, so did uh, pets.com. And people were buying pets.com and pets.com disappeared and Amazon became the behemoth of the world. So I didn't know anything about .com and I don't know anything about crypto. So I talked to the young guys who are in it every single day and they kind of filled me up. So they told me to buy, uh, I interviewed this guy, Robert Breedlove. He's a, he's a CPA plus a finance guy from Wall Street and all this. And he is probably the most knowledgeable on Bitcoin that, in my personal experience. And he is the one who's saying it's 1.2 million. So of all the people, I trust him. Then I asked him, I said, what happens if somebody, you know, like let's say you and I start our own uh, 
coffee Bitcoin. He says, the beauty of Bitcoin is it adapts. And the reason I'm going to talk about Bitcoin today is I'm very optimistic on Bitcoin. I own Bitcoin. I'm going to buy more Bitcoin, but I'm going to say horrible things about it. So you can't take it. You shouldn't listen to this program. But I will explain why I like Bitcoin. I like, I also have Ethereum. I have no Doge coins and all those other things. To me, that's different. That's a mania. So does it make sense to you? I mean, it's, it's, people don't know what they're doing. They're speculating. It is fake news because, you know, they said, well, the reason Bitcoin crashes is because China said they didn't like Bitcoin or something like that. And, and Elon Musk didn't like Bitcoin. That's not the problem. You see, China has not liked Bitcoin forever. You know, in 2013, they said, don't buy Bitcoin. 2014, they said, don't buy Bitcoin. 2015, they said, don't buy Bitcoin. And 2016, I think they said, don't buy Ethereum. So when the press comes out and says the reason Bitcoin crashes is because China tra tra trashed it. Well, that's they've always trashed it. That's not the reason it's crashing.